Have you ever wondered where your milk comes from? I got to find out when our milkman invited me to his dairy farm, so my bro and I jumped in the car and headed just five minutes away from our home in rural India. But what happened next with his daughter, I did not expect. We'll get to that, but first, welcome to Marahara Bhara Haryana Jit Dood Dahi Kakana Ram Ram Dosto. In this video, I'm going to show you where we get our milk from in rural Haryana because we don't go to Mother Dairy and we don't go to Amul. Either, firstly, we have a cow at home or we come to a dairy farm like this and we deal directly with the farmer. He delivers the milk to our house every single day. So it's fresh, it's pure, it's full cream and the farmer, he gets maximum profit. There's no middleman. So Cello, let's see what a dairy farm is like here in Haryana. Dosto, so meet Mr. Vinud. He is the farmer here. He's who I get my milk from. And he's one of my subscribers. He came to drop milk at our house yesterday and he said, come to our house and I'll show you our dairy farm. So thank you so much, Mr. Vinud. So what's your name and where are you from? Sir, my name is Vinod Malik. Okay, Malik? Yeah. We are also Malik. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from the village of Dhanderi, Tessil Hansi. In the morning, we wake up at 4 o'clock. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. After wake up, we put the bread on the bread. Namaste Ji, how are you? <laughs> Thank you. And so this is the milk motorcycle, you know? And yeah, we got the milk in here. And yeah, Vinod is here to deliver it to us. How cool is that, no? After coming, as I was early, I was free at 8 o'clock in the morning. At 9 o'clock, I was free at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I also in job in Hasi. Acha. Uh, clerical staff. Acha. So no se teen mein wo duty karta hu. Teen baje aane ke baad fir wahi. Ab apni bhaiso ka kam. To shyam ko lagbag no saare no baje raat to free ho jate hain. Ab bahut vyast hai na like. Yeah. Pure din ab kam kar rahe hain na. Pure din busy rehte hain. Wow. Amazing. This is how hard people here in Haryana work. So chale hum ab ka dairy farm dekhenge na. Aaye. Ye to. सारी छोटी काफ है मेरी। अच्छा, इधर यंग काफ। या, ये तो न्यू जेनरेशन है। ये अगले दो साल में तैयार हो जाएंगी। अच्छा। ये पानी में डूब रही थी, डूबते डूबते निकाली थी। अच्छा। ये निकालने वाला हमारा ये रहा, बंदा। छोटी सी दी है, पिछले पांच महीने की होगी हमारे पास आए हुए इसको। Vinod's got her hair now. Oh, choti guy, hey. Namaste, kaise? Thik hai? Ye meri mami hai. Ram Ram ji, kaise aap? Sab thik hai? Ye sister hai. Achha, namaste. Kaise? Ye idhar dekho apni ye. Now, here's the older. This is all buffaloes, okay? These are not cows. And I know you might be surprised to see this. And this is the reason why tea or chai tastes different overseas. Because here in India, generally, we make chai with buffalo milk and not cow milk. That's not what I think a lot of foreigners would expect. We'd expect cow milk, but no, no, no. In India, it's mostly buffalo milk. Whereas overseas, we mostly uh, drink cow milk, right? And the buffalo milk has more fat and buffaloes produce more milk than cows. So that's why, that's why they're used here. And uh, because their milk has more fat in it, I feel like it retains more flavor and the tea just tastes better. So yeah, that's why chai never tastes the same when you make it overseas. It always tastes best here in India because of the buffalo milk. Now guess which country produces the most milk in the world? Yup, it's India with 24% of the world's milk production. But it's not a big exporter. My tiny country, New Zealand, often ranks as the number one milk exporter. But in New Zealand, we're paying a whopping $2.20 a litre for full cream milk, and Indians pay just 80 cents a litre. Before we get into the taste, the cows dine on this fresh feed 
which is produced right here at Benud's farm. So we can see exactly what the cows are eating. They're eating this fresh, beautiful, green, I don't know, leafy vegetable. Perfect. Once you live with cows and buffaloes, you realize their importance here in India and why most people don't eat them here. Um, they're very much part of the family and they're very much loved because more than just religious purposes, they sustain people here. They provide the necessities of life. They provide milk, they provide butter, they provide ghee, which is clarified butter. You can make yogurt. There's all sorts of things that these buffaloes and these cows provide. And yeah, that's why they're just so loved and why they're part of the family here. People literally live with these buffaloes and these cows in their homes. And we have that too in our village in over just across the border, not far from here in Rajasthan. This is the fresh milk and it's still warm. I can still feel it's warm. And yeah, it's not boiled or anything, but we're gonna give it a go. And you can just see like, <laughs> like how creamy it is. It is super, super creamy. Let's give it a go. I've never had raw milk before. Oh my God. Wow. It's so light. It's like light and creamy. It's really, really good. It's hard to describe. It's like, a, it's like super light and creamy like a milkshake. It's really strange. Tastes lovely. Farm fresh milk definitely smells and tastes different, even after boiled. It's a much earthier taste. Now, what happened next, I did not expect. Vinod is about to ask me to do something very important for his daughter. Very good. Very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, so young. Ram Ram Pandit. Cut gay. Ram Ram Ji. Wow. Kidney then? You're 10 days ago, guys. Oh, this is Vinod's young daughter. She's just 10 days old. She's very tired. Sunday, what's Sunday? Naam ni bataya aap ni inka? Asta. Asta. <laughs> yeah, just like that, Vinod asked me to name his daughter, and I was ready. This ritual is called Nam Karan, which means name creation. And the name I gave her, Asta, is Sanskrit and roughly translates to faith. It's an auspicious name and mentioned in many important Hindu texts like the Mahabharat. And I hope you guys will all support your local farmers and try and buy direct if you can. Even in Delhi, even in places like Vadodara, I've seen you can buy milk direct from local farms just outside the city. And they'll deliver it to your doorstep. And these guys will earn maximum amount of money because farmers deserve it. Chale, Jai Hind. Bye, Ram Ram. Bye, Ram Ram Ji. Bye, Guru Sare. How nice was that, bro? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I love the milk, man. Oh, man. Oh. I'd never drunk fresh milk like that before. And I, um, I, actually, I, I only met Vinod last night, right? And uh -huh. I could just tell he's a good person. You know, yes. when you meet someone and straight away, you can sense how they are as a person. Yes. And I just knew he was a good person. So that's why very next day, <laughs> I decided to come here. Thanks for coming, bro. Oh, man, cheers. This, this sip of glass just took me back to the past. Like, you know, childhood days. We used to do this every evening. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun, man. Ah, Jai Hind to Jai Haryana. Jai Haryana. <laughs>